Also tonight, a history-making flight around the world has landed here in Dayton. This is really cool. Tonight we are giving you an exclusive look inside the Solar Impulse 2, a plane that runs only on solar power. Two News reporter Robert Lowry is at Dayton International Airport with more on why the team chose the Gym City to make its landing. Well, if you take a look outside Dayton International Airport, you'll see this giant white hangar sitting out on the tarmac. But if you take a look inside, you will see this plane that is making its trip around the world without a drop of fuel. Fittingly, this achievement in aviation making a stop right here in Dayton. The birthplace of aviation welcoming another technological advancement. The Solar Impulse 2, a plane which runs entirely on solar energy, making the first ever solar powered trip around the world. We started in Abu Dhabi, going to Oman, India, China, Japan, Hawaii, and there we stopped, we paused for eight months to um, repair our batteries. Now, after 14 months, the journey has led to the Gem City. Shortly after the plane landed on Saturday, we caught up with one of the pilots. He says ever since the plane began its journey last year, the goal has always been to arrive in Dayton. I read so many books about the, uh, the Wright brothers that I really wanted to come here and to be able to come with our airplane, with the solar airplane, it's a gift. Just as the Wright brothers did before them, this team hoping to show anything is possible with the right resolve. Protection of the environment is not something boring and expensive. It is something exciting and profitable. And this is what we want to, to demonstrate. That's really the message of Solar Impulse and try to enthusiasm as many people as possible for these clean technologies. Now, we know a lot of people have been asking when they will get a chance to personally come see this plane. We checked for you and found out that because of the time constraint, they are expecting to leave on Tuesday, that they will not be doing any public viewings. Now, after the plane leaves here, it will continue to one more destination yet to be determined before making a stop in New York, before continuing its trip around the world. Reporting in Dayton, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.